you know, I don't think people will believe it, but I think it's self-taught. I don't think confidence is something that you are born with. I don't think confidence is it, it's it's a skill set. And I had no confidence growing up as a child. I was extreme I had very low self-esteem. I was gawky as a teenager. I lived in America. I was made to feel conscious about the fact that I was Indian. That was weird at that time and uh not by everyone but just by like a few bullies in school that hated me and high school's hard for everyone but so i was in a in a very weird sort of teenage place and when miss india happened i'm inherently competitive i think the fact that i was competitive pushed me to teach myself to be confident initially i faked it till i made it <laughs> i was just like i'm not going to let anyone see that i'm scared or i'm not going to let anyone see that i'm affected and over time i realized like as a woman as a girl in this world if i allow myself to be hurt or if i allow myself to be affected that's all i'm going to be and i'm not you know trying to say that it's it's a it's an issue that just women have it's not easy to be a woman in show business and especially a woman who's opinionated especially someone who i'm not i'm sort of like and i wasn't like that from the beginning sort of learned so confidence is something i taught myself over the years i i started becoming okay with who i am i became the best version of me and then i sort of said i'm okay you know i'm all right even if someone else thinks this i'm okay and everyone can do that one day youtube how y'all doing welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on that watch button to view today's content remember to like and to share this video and if you enjoy today's content please subscribe to my channel and put on your notification bell so that you will be informed every time that i post to this channel in today's video i'd like to talk to you guys about being bold being brave and how to be true to yourself this very platform that I'm speaking to you on requires me to be bold, to be brave, and to be true to myself. If I am none of these things, this very platform can tear me apart with the likes, the comments, the dislikes, the comparisons to other YouTubers, and all that the world has out there for me to compare myself with. Being bold, being brave, and most importantly, being true to yourself defines who you are in the face of adversity but but i'm just saying like it it gave me a sense of the fact that my personality and the way i speak and my confidence is what won me that crown made me feel like confidence is your best accessory there is nothing else you need if you the only thing you need to wear well is your confidence it's like that way with life too if you are not bold if you are not brave or if you are not true to yourself life will crush you life will also crush you if you do not have the source and the source of being bold being brave and true to yourself is god i'm christian so i always go back to my source that is the one true and living god for me god has been telling me that in order for me to accomplish all that he has planned for me on the earth that i need to show characteristics of boldness braveness and being true to myself in the book of second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says that god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and love and of a sound mind lately for me i have fell in love with this verse because i apply it to every part of my life it shows me how i can be bold how i can be brave and how i can truly be true to myself so you might ask, what is being brave, what is being bold, and what is being true to yourself? Well, first, we must understand what being true to ourselves is. And we can only be true to ourselves when we look into the mirror and love the person that is looking back at us. When we can love that, yes, we may have acne, we may have a lot of freckles, we may not like that we're short, perhaps, or that we are tiny, or we may not like that our nose is a certain way, but being true to yourself means that you accept that all these things are a part of your body, are a part of your life, and that you can still go on being yourself, loving yourself and loving who you are when you look into the mirror. If you are the kind of person that when you look into the mirror, you don't look directly at what you see in front of you, you're not being true to yourself. You're not being true to yourself 
when you cannot appreciate the masterpiece that God has created and is staring back at you from that mirror. When you can actually do that, you are being true to yourself. You are being true to yourself when you can accept that, yes, okay, sometimes I may not say the right thing about people. Sometimes I may allow myself and my mind to stray about um, views I have about others, but recognizing that that is one of your flaws and working on changing it also helps you to be true to yourself you're also true to yourself when for instance this dress i look very beautiful in it but i always thought to myself that it was too much for me to wear to work because i would i i always said that people would say oh my she's trying to be more than she is but the fact is i like dressing up and i like feeling good in whatever i wear so after buying this dress i just wore it once and i know that i look nice in it but i didn't want to wear it because of what other people would think but deep down inside i know that i like dressing up and looking good so today i finally decided to wear this dress because it matched with the topic that i want to discuss about being true to yourself i held back my true self because i didn't want people to feel any sort of way because of how I might dress up. But the truth is, this is how I am. This is who I am. Now let us talk about being brave. And I displayed my highest level of braveness in my first YouTube video. But before I could actually display that level of braveness, I had all of the thoughts that someone who is not brave would have. But most importantly, I had three burning questions that I wanted to ask myself over and over that was trying to take away from the experience of me actually posting that video. The first question was, and it is the most famous of the questions, what will people say? The next question was, do I actually have something to say and will people want to listen to my videos on YouTube? Now, I can actually see that people do want to listen to what I have to say on YouTube some 100 and change more subscribers later. And the third question was, Lois, don't you have something that you want to share with people? Aren't there people out there who will actually be saved and their lives will be impacted by whatever you had to say? And from then on, I stick with the third one because I do have something to say and there are people out there who want to hear from me. It is clear to me now that God wants me to use my voice to speak on his behalf, to motivate people, to show people that I am a testimony for what God can do for people who want to use their life to be a living testimony for all that he is. He has also shown me that in order for me to fulfill his plans, purposes for me on the earth that I need to be bold, that I need to be brave, and that I need to be true to myself. Many a dream have been forgotten, abandoned, and destroyed because people could not be bold, brave, or true to themselves enough. Just a few months ago, to be exact, two months ago, the only subscriber that I had on my channel was, was my little sister. But it took my braveness, my boldness, and me being true to the person that I am for me to reach this far and I want the same for you to be bold to be brave and to be true to yourself because I have decided to be bold brave and true to myself I now have a hundred and odd change subscribers it might not be a lot to many of you out there but it is something to me and many of you wouldn't understand how much it means to me to have people that want to hear what I have to say but it all started out with me being bold, brave, and true to myself. So much success in your life could happen and could be made possible if you just leap out onto that, that platform that you want to go out onto. Just leap out and do that piece of writing that you always wanted to do. Just leap out and sing that song you always wanted to sing. To try that new thing that you always wanted to try. There is so much out there in the world for you to achieve and for you to experience if you just step out in faith and be bold, brave and true to yourself. But hey, if the life of mediocrity defines you, don't be bold, don't be brave and don't be true to yourself. 
But if you want the best things in life to fulfill all that God has promised and shown you, then you need to step out in faith and face the fact that you are who you are, that the person that you see in the mirror is actually who God wanted you to be, then you will achieve all that God has promised to you. In closing, I'd like to leave with you 10 things that define you being true to yourself. The first thing is to take responsibility for your own life. The second thing is to not judge others. The third thing is that you are happy and you say kind things to yourself. The next one is that you don't hide your emotions. And the next one is that you follow your heart. The sixth one is that you are not controlled by someone else. And the seventh is that you do things that you actually like doing. Number eight is that you don't worry about making mistakes. You understand that mistakes are a part of life and that they will happen in order for you to grow. Number nine is that you trust your own decisions and you stand by them no matter what. Number 10 is that you have a big vision and you keep your goals aligned with that big vision and you dream big dreams. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching everyone. If you like today's content, please remember to subscribe to my channel and to put on your notification bell so that you can view many more videos like this one. I do thank you for once again coming back here and for viewing my content. Please remember to share this video with someone so that it can be an inspiration to them. Until next time guys, bye!